add three numbers, compatible numbers. Lesson 3.11. When a problem has three add-ins, we can add them in any order, and the sum will stay the same. We can add two add-ins first to make a 10, or we can add two add-ins and make a doubles fact. We could even count on. 4 plus 9 plus 1, we can make a 10 if we add the 9 plus 1 first. Now we have 4 plus 10. That equals 14. We can group the add-ins to add them easier. We can group 4 and 9 and make a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then add the 1. That's using count on. I think this way would be easier for these numbers to make a 10 because the 9 and 1 make a 10 very easily. And we can group add-ins in any order to find the sum. If we have 7 plus 4 plus 3, we can group the 7 and the 3 together to make a 10. Then we can add the 4. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. We could also group the 4 and the 3 together and add them and make a 7. And now we have doubles, a 7 plus 7. We can count on the 4, 5, 6, 7, then add the doubles. If we add 6 plus 3 plus 4, we can add the 6 and the 4 first to make a 10. Then we can add the 3 to make 13. We could also add the 3 and the 4 first to make a 7 and count on from the 7 to get 13. We could even use doubles plus 1, couldn't we? 6 plus 6 plus 1, but we could count on also. So the strategies we've learned so far are count on, doubles, doubles plus 1, doubles minus 1, and make a 10. And sometimes one way is easier than another, so it's better to use the easier way. Circle two add-ins to add first, write the sum, then find the total sum. So we're going to circle two add-ins to add first. You know what I see? I see a doubles here. And do you remember what 5 plus 5 equals? That's how many fingers we have. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. We write the sum in the box. Now we add this 2 that's still left over, 10, 11, 12. It's equal to 12. Here we have 3 plus 9 plus 1. We can circle two add-ins to add together first. The 9 and the 1 make a 10, don't they? Now we can add the 3, 10. 11, 12, 13. Six plus four plus five. We can add the six and the four together first because they make a 10. Now we can add the five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can choose one of the strategies, circle two add-ins, to add first, then find the sum. We can use count on, doubles, doubles plus one, doubles minus one, or make a 10. Do you know which one would be best and easiest to use for these numbers? I see a seven and a three, and that makes a 10. Now we can add the 3, 10, 11, 12, 13. Here we have a 0 for an add end, so that's just nothing, isn't it? We can just add the 7 and count on 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.
Here all three add-ins are the same. 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 more is 7, 8, 9. Here we have an 8 plus 1 plus 7. If we add these first, we'll make another 8. Then we can add doubles. 8 plus 8 is 16. Tim has 6 grapes. Lisa has 4 grapes. Emma has 3 grapes. How many grapes do they have? We write the numbers that they have in our addition sentence. Tim has six, Lisa has four, Emma has three. If we add the six and the four together first, that'll make a 10. Then we can add the three, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have 13 grapes all together. We can write missing add-ins that fit the problem. Then we can add. It says that this number and this number would equal 6. We can put any numbers we want in there that'll equal 6. What numbers would you put in there? I'd like to put 3 plus 3. We could have put 4 plus 2, couldn't we? Because that's 6, or 5 plus 1. 6, 7, 8. This is equal to 8 when we add them all together. This number and this number need to equal 4. What numbers would you put there? We could put a 2 and a 2. We could put a 3 up here and a 1 down here. We could put the 1 up here and the 3 down here, couldn't we? We could even do a 4 and a 0, couldn't we? Let's do that. Let's do a 4 and a 0, because that would equal 4. Now we start from the greater add in the 5 and count on 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can put any number in this box as long as it equals these two numbers equal 4. We can put any number in those boxes. We can draw a picture or counters and write the number sentence. Bob has four hats. Tim has two hats. Emma has five hats. How many hats do they have in all? Well. We can give them baseball caps, couldn't we? We could say, that's a baseball cap. That's one hat, two, three, four. That's Bob's. He has four. Tim has two. And Emma has five. Just make little baseball caps. So how many hats do they have in all? We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven hats. We can write the number sentence. Bob has four. Here's Bob's four. Put a four here. Tim has two. Here's Tim's two. So we put a two in our number sentence. And Emma has five. We put a five in our number sentence. And four plus two plus five is equal to eleven. Eleven hats. Tala sees seven big flowers. She sees three small flowers. She sees zero medium flowers. How many flowers does she see? We can draw the flowers. We can even draw counters for the flowers, couldn't we? You can draw the flowers if you want. But Tala sees seven big ones. Three, four, five, 
six, seven big flowers. She sees three small flowers. One, two, three. She sees zero medium flowers. Well, that's zero. That's none. How many flowers does she see? Seven, eight, nine, ten. She sees ten flowers. We can write our number sentence. Seven big ones is a seven. Three small ones, that's a three. And zero medium would be the zero. Seven plus three plus zero is equal to ten. We can write two ways to group and add three plus four plus five. We can add the three plus four first, then add the five. Four, five, six, seven. Now we have seven plus five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can also add the four plus five first. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. We get the same sum because we added the same numbers. We just added them in a different order. Dave saw 14 dogs at the dog park, at the park. Eight dogs are brown, the rest are black and white. How many of each could he see? Well, we can make a table. We know he saw 14 dogs in all, and eight were brown. We can make a column for the brown ones, a column for the black ones, and a column for the white ones, and they have to equal 14. So we can make a table to show all the ways. There could have been eight brown dogs, because it says eight were brown, then five black dogs and one white dog, that would equal 14. It could have been eight brown dogs, four black dogs, and two white dogs, that would equal 14. It could have been three black and three white. It could have been two black and four white, or it could have been one black and five white. This number stayed the same because we knew he saw eight dogs. But if he saw 14 dogs in all, that means that these numbers added together had to equal a 6. So when we added the 8 plus 6, it would be 14. See? So we can just make a list or a table of all the different ways that the dogs could have been brown, black, and white. Our next lesson is problem solving addition strategy, draw a picture. We're going to do word problems and draw pictures to help us solve them. That's lesson 312. That's the last lesson for chapter 3. If the video helped you and you understand adding three numbers, hit the like button. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next video. Bye.